There are two ways to build React Native apps. We can use plain React Native or Expo. Expo is a set of tools and a framework that sits on top of React Native and hides a lot of complexity from us. It makes it incredibly fast and easy to build React Native apps. If you have never done mobile development before, Expo is the way to go. You can build and run your first app within a few minutes. The other option is to use React Native CLI or Command Line Interface. When we create a project with React Native CLI, our project will look like this. So we have these folders, Android and iOS. These are native Android and iOS projects. We also have our JavaScript code on the site that can be shared across these two platforms. So this approach is suitable for people who have some experience with iOS or Android programming. In this course, I'm assuming you don't have any prior experience in mobile development, so we're going to use Expo. When we create a project with Expo, we're not going to have these Android and iOS sub-projects. We only have JavaScript code. So that means we cannot work directly with the native API of these platforms. We are limited to what Expo gives us in terms of the native features. Now, honestly, this is not a problem for a lot of apps because Expo gives us a lot of native features. So we can build a real complete app using just Expo. And that's what I'm going to show you in this course. But if you do have some experience with mobile development and you want to have some extra flexibility, if you want to customize or tweak some native components, you can always eject from Expo and get access to the underlying iOS and Android projects. I will show you how to do that later in this course. So next, I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment.